Hey, what up y'all? Mr. Cruz here, your friendly neighborhood producer, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys about MIDI mapping. So MIDI mapping is this little button down here in case you've never realized it or never paid much attention to it. All it does is it's a tool to be able to help you to assign parameters, buttons, faders, knobs to your MIDI controller, if you have a MIDI controller. So I have a MIDI controller right here in front of me. You guys kind of can't see it. I'm gonna see if I can lift this up a little bit so you can kind of see it a little bit. Bam, there. If, if I move it anymore, a whole bunch of stuff is gonna fall off that's like on top of it. So we're gonna leave it like that. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how you can use this. And this not only applies to what we're gonna be seeing here, but it also applies to any kind of effects that you might be using. So let me go ahead and select this right here. When I select MIDI map, so this is what pops up. So essentially anything that is highlighted with like this orange hue, um, is a parameter or a button or a switch or a fader or a knob or whatever that you can assign to either your keys or any kind of buttons and faders and knobs that your keyboard has. So my keyboard has uh, faders, it has buttons, it has knobs, um, and it also has obviously like the keys that you can play. So uh, let's go ahead and do this one right here. So this one, um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit a key on my keyboard. Uh, bam, right there. And you can see that right here, it showed up as C2. So I hit C2. So now if I click MIDI mappings again to close it, so now you will notice every time I hit C2 that it's gonna mute that track. Bam, that's as simple as it is. So this can also apply to any kind of effects that you have, right? And let's say I'm gonna do this with a fader. So you have to first select whatever parameter you want. So I'm gonna select that. And now that that box is highlighted or outlined, I'm gonna move my fader. I can either move my fader, or I can hit a key on my keyboard. And this time I'm gonna move my fader and then it's gonna recognize it over here. After that, you can select this to close it. And now every single time that I move this fader, it's gonna move that right there. There you go. And if you ever wanted to delete or change the stuff, you can just click the trash can icons here on the side and then that's it. So hopefully that was helpful to you guys. If you feel like you learned something, make sure you hit the like button below. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Also, if you wanna check out this recent video where I made a lo-fi beat in five minutes in BandLab, click this link right here. Outside of that, it's your boy, Mr. Cruz. Out.